Okay, we're gonna be putting together the Mustang Eleanor model kit. Now, when I started this right here, I got it through the Diecast Club. They have since went out of business. You cannot get it through the Diecast Club anymore. So what you have to do now is go through Fan Home and they do not send you a full kit. You have to get it one kit per month. So it's taken me a couple years to get all this. They went out of business. Then finally, uh, this company, a Fan Home, took over this. So we're gonna be putting this together. So we'll flip through the pages here for everyone to get a good look. You can pause the video so that you can read each page. And then it starts with your instructions on assembling your kit number one. And that's the end of the book. So now, let's go ahead. We're going to start by getting this, open it up, and laying out all the parts. The iconic front nose of course a lot of people don't know this this was created by Chip Foose it come with a little screwdriver and we have the headlights these have functioning headlights so the bulbs come in later Okay, we have all of our pieces laid out. We're gonna take our fascia here, our nose cone here. Flip it over. And this right here gets screwed to the back. So you just take it and just sit it right into place there. And then that's where you're gonna put your screw. And there you have your really realistic headlight bulb. Lay both in there. sure they're secure and both the bulbs line up the light gap around the bulbs look correct on both sides the bulbs that go in the top are going to be blue bulbs go in the bottom are going to be white and these are not the same they may look close but they're not they have, one has a ridge one doesn't so the one that has the ridge will get blue lenses Press them in. You can place them right through the front and then put PSO4 screw through this right here. So, okay, once you have it lined up, you can put your PSO4 screw through there. And those are the smaller ones. There's that one. So you get a good look at that one in there. Now we'll do the same with the other one. You can see the little hole for our screw is lined up. And there's that one. Now we have to assemble the lower lamps. 
So take your lens, take your bezel, and just pop it in just like so. There you have it. That's all for that. And you'll line up, make sure you got the little hole lined up in the center. Then put your screws in until it's secured. Then we'll do the same with the other one. Now your little piece that's sticking out here, that one will go to the top and the screw hole is at the bottom hole. And there is the first kit. This is kit number one. Now we're moving right along to kit number two, which is the rim, three piece, and tire. And we've already completed step number one, which was the front nose. Now, let's start with step number two. Goodyear Eagle F1 tire. A real nice ram piece. There's the other piece. Of course, the aluminum or cast ram. PS, let's see, we have DSO2 and PSO5. So first steps first, you're gonna take your rim, you're gonna put it in through the back side, your center rim anyway, and just pop it through and line up your little holes right there for your screws. That'll be your rim. Okay, that much is complete. Now, this portion here will have to be secure to this back piece. Now, the front piece is plastic. It's got a cast center, and this is a cast as well. So now I'm just going to line up these two pieces together. So, just like so. There you have the, the full width of the rim. Now, we're going to be using DSO2 through the front side. There it is, there's your rim. Now, if your tire needs to be soaking in hot water, you should be able to easily elastically put it around this. But now that's what you gotta do. So first things, you're gonna check direction. Now you gotta make sure that your direction of your tread right here is gonna be in the right location. Now on this one in detail, with this center point, like an arrow facing this way, the rim itself is going to be facing us. Now we have water. Now this right here is roughly 170 degrees. Um, now this right here is to sit for a few minutes. The tire itself will start to become pliable and it'll be easier for it to put onto the rim. So I should be able to easily slide this rim into the tire. Well, more easily, being the tire will be more pliable. So we'll let that sit for a few minutes. Okay, I think our tire has sat long enough, so I'll take that out of the water. Okay, here's our rim here. And if you'll notice that the valve stem is towards the outside face. So now our tread pattern will be pointed that way and our face will be just like that. So now we just slide it in from the front, be easier here. This is always the fun part. Alrighty. And then just push on the sides all the way around it. Seat the tire real good to the rim. Okay, and there we have it. 
we have the outside facing us and we have make sure you keep those lines in because the lines those will go towards the front of the vehicle so there it is for step two so that's going to be it for this video go ahead and hit that subscribe like comment and share and notification bell the next time we upload a video of this build you'll be the first to get it so stay tuned for the next video